Hello ma'am, this is Saurav Srivastav, enrollment number 701-164-03218 from BTEC CSE 4th SEM, University School of Information, Communication and Technology. This PowerPoint is presented to Professor Kamaldeep Kaur Madam. I will be talking about the sequence generator as assigned in this PowerPoint presentation. So, let's get started with this. I will be discussing what the sequence generator is, basic structure of sequence generator, why it is used, how can it be generated. As we can see the definition here, a circuit which generates a prescribed sequence of bits in synchronism with a clock is referred to as a sequence generator. The structure is shown here. Uh, this system is similar to ring counter y equals to q node or a twisted ring counter which are special cases of sequence generators. Talking about the uses of it, such generators can be used as counters, random bit generators, prescribed period and sequence generators and code generators. Let's do a random example of a sequence generator. Here we have to generate the sequence of 10110. Uh, for that we will be using D flop rather than JK flip flop. Uh, as mentioned, we will use data flip flop uh, as the above solution. Sequence generator is also a type of counter, thus, we will feed back output to the input as we do it in counters. This is how a sequence is created ultimately. We input the data parallelly and we get the output in series. This serially got output is called a sequence. Solution for 10110 would be uh, getting number of flip flops to be used and the feedback path to the output. Formula for the flip flops to be used is S is supposed to be smaller or equals to 2 to the power of n minus 1 where S is the length of sequence and n is the minimum number of flip flop. Here length of sequence for 10110 is equals to 5 bits. Taking n equals to 3 we get 5 to be smaller than 7 which is true. Thus we can assume 3 to be the minimum number of flip flops required. We will name the flip flops as A, B and C. Plotting the sequences into a table we get this. We can see how the entry is done in the table. For A we just entered all the bits one by one. For B we went down a step and entered the bits same as done in A. The rest elements are entered to the upper empty table for C and rest entries also turn the same. Here we can see the entries are, check, uh, are same when checked. Thus one or more flip flop is supposed to be added. We add one flip flop for each same entries. Here we go. Now we have added the flip flop. The feedback output is supposed to be added. Here F is the feedback output added. We get the figure A, B, C and D are labeled and Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q0 are the outputs. So we have got 4 bits thus our sales in KMAP will be 2 to the power of 4 that is 16 sales which is 4 by 4. We see the KMAP plotted, we see the output here, we see the bits here, here uh, are the bits, here are the outputs sawn. Here we can see 1011 in A, B, C, D is plotted in K map. Here 10 at C, D, 11, sorry, 10 at A, B and 11 at C, D. Thus 0 at F, which is the output, is filled here. Same thing is done with the rest. Here we see the pairing. The uh, pairing is done with the red ones, the yellow ones from one side and the other. So 8 8 pairings which we have got. The result F equals to A complement plus D complement it's so on now. Here a complement means the output of a flip flop of A's complement that is Q3's complement and D complement means the output of flip flop of D's complement that is Q0's complement. Here F equals to A0 plus 
sorry a complement plus d complement is on here yeah. now we see the figure uh, the final figure is on here thanks for hearing me out